Aloha everyone, Dr. Summer Nicole here of Yoga Doctors TV. I wanted to shoot a quick video about incontinence. Um, this is loss of bladder control, um, most common in women, uh, very common in women after they have babies, um, but it, you don't have to have had a baby to experience incontinence. So I wanna just sort of like normalize this a little bit because uh, even women, a lot of women don't even like to talk about it or even bring it up to um, their gynecologist or their doctor or their physical therapist. Um, so a, a couple things. So you might even not have like full-blown incontinence where you're like completely losing bladder control, but some of the warning signs for incontinence could be just frequency of, of urination, like you just have to pee a lot. And then uh, another one would be um, basically like not being able to void all the way whenever you do go to urinate. So you sit down, you pee, and then five, ten, minute, ten minutes later, you have to go again. And so the, these can be considered like warning signs um, towards incontinence. So just so you know, this could mean that um, in, in any case, when, when incontinence is present, the bladder is sitting too low. Okay, and, and when you get that, um, if the bladder is sitting too low and if it's kinking the urethra, that's when you can get that experience of not being able to void all the way whenever you sit down to urinate. So why would the bladder be sitting too low? Um, this is a result, can be a result of too much intra-abdominal pressure. So what causes uh, intra-abdominal pressure? Um, traditional core work, crunches, uh, supine leg lifts, planks, running, jumping, um, increase a lot of pressure in the abdominal and pelvic cavities, um, as well as a tight diaphragm. And so when you have a tight diaphragm, which is that dome-shaped muscle underneath the rib cage, when you have a tight diaphragm, um, and, and just so you know, like most people have tight diaphragms, like it can be caused from high impact exercise, it can be caused from um, anxiety, stress, trauma, um, you know, tightness in the upper abdominals, decreased rib mobility that holds um, that diaphragm in a tight spot so you're not able to take a full breath in. So when that diaphragm is tight, um, and then you belly breathe like maybe you've been taught or you do your traditional core work, um, the diaphragm pushes, goes down, which pushes on the abdominal organs. So the pelvic organs begin to weight the pelvic floor. They load the pelvic floor. So when the pelvic floor is loaded, it becomes hypertonic or too tight, meaning it can't fully relax uh, or fully contract. And then you have a pelvic floor dysfunction. And so people think incontinence, uh, is either the only correction is like surgery, like most, a lot of doctors or OBGYNs will say, oh, you need surgery for this. Um, or they're given kegels, uh, which can often make it worse because if you uh, have an already tight pelvic floor and then you do a kegel, you're just contracting the pelvic floor in that already short, tight range. Um, so the only thing, um, and this makes the most sense to me when I learned it, this is why I feel passionate about sharing it, um, the only thing that's going to help is actually decreasing that internal pressure in the abdominal and pelvic cavities so that you actually begin to lift diaphragm, lift pelvic floor, um, lift um, abdominal contents, bladder, uterus, off of the pelvic floor so that the pelvic floor be can begin to relax and contract the way that it should. Um, and this is what I've been teaching for the past uh, about a year. Uh, it's called low pressure fitness. And so it takes the hypopressive uh, breathing technique. So hypopressive means low pressure. Um, it takes that breathing technique where you inhale wide into your side ribs with a relaxed abdominal wall as best you can. The exhale is twice as long with a relaxed abdominal wall. And then we create this abdominal vacuum um, at, at the pause at the end of the exhale that literally decreases pressure in thoracic abdominal and pelvic cavities and, um, and begins to unweight that pelvic floor. So. Um, the, what I'm teaching now is, is called low pressure fitness and it's a, uh, the level one sequence is 10 exercises. It takes about 20 minutes. Um, and so you're doing the hyperpressive breathing throughout these 10 static exercises for about 20 minutes. And, um, it's like giving you this practice is like progressing your own rehab. So I really encourage you to, to look into it. Um, feel free if you have any questions to contact me or if you'd like to learn it with me. Um, I teach it over Skype or Zoom. I also have in-person uh, workshops in, in several pla places on the mainland, California, Colorado, Florida, um, here and there. But it is the best thing for not only incontinence, but many common women's health issues like prolapse, um, diastasis recti, 
Um, for men, it shows up more as like hernias or, or disc herniations. Um, the, the sexual dysfunction piece is for women is that it makes it uh, hard for them to orgasm. For men, it can show up as, as ED, so erectile dysfunction. And so this method uh, really of decreasing all of the pressure in the thoracic and abdominal cavities is like a public, it is a pelvic floor restoration program. And so um, I encourage you to look into it and contact me if you have any questions. And uh, it's, it's for me, it's like handing people gold because it can be just this simple 20 minute practice you do three times a week and uh, you can progress your own rehab. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, wanted to, to get this out to as many people as possible so that uh, more people begin to share, uh, especially with other women, especially with postpartum mamas, that there is uh, something, a method that is actually effective and uh, super beneficial for correcting these issues. Um, also really good at preparing the body for pregnancy, uh, which is what I'm using it for. So please let me know if you have any questions and I hope this was helpful for you. Aloha.